Hello, today I'm going to do a bolt preload example using NX. I'm going to create a new part. I'm give it a name. And I'm going to import a parasolid that was on in SolidWorks. So I'm going to do this um, bolt preload two different ways. I'm going to use solid elements and then I'm also going to use 2D elements. So this example will use 3D elements. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to split this body, these bodies, uh, create some more uniform shapes that'll help me in meshing. Okay, so if I'm gonna split there and I'm gonna split these bodies using the datum planes first, like so. I'm going to split that body with that plane. Let's split those bodies with that plane. So we'll hide them. Also, once again, I'm going to split this body from corner to corner. So I'm going to insert curves and the end point to the end point like so. So I'm going to split that body and those bodies and I'm going to use an extrude the negative Z axis and then I'm going to pick these curves add the curves so there we are so that geometry now is ready for swept meshing switch into advanced simulation and create a new finite element model Delete these mesh mates that NX has created for me, and I'm going to hide these bodies. Okay, and then I'm going to create glued coincident condition for those. I'm going to show those bodies. I'm going to hide. Those bodies. And I'm going to create the same for that body. And I'm going to create. different type of contact because I don't want these to be glued together between those. Okay. So that is not going to glue the nodes together for me or make the nodes coincident so we can get contact pressures. I'm now going to go ahead bodies okay. and I'm just going to 
do a mesh control on these edges and I'm going to put two elements there. So that doesn't like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remesh these bodies. I'm going to use layers and I'm going to put two elements through. now need to create, I'm just going to switch off the coordinate system, now need to create some rigid elements and my beam element, so I'm going to hide the mesh and I'm going to create some points. point between two points I'm going to pick the centre of the hole ok, that's giving me a point I'm going to do the same again between two points ok, so now I've now got two points so I'm going to create some rigid elements and I'm going to say a point to the face so there's my point and my faces for the top set are here. I'm going to make those RB2 elements apply. I'll do the same for that face. So I then want to create a node to node and a beam and I'm going to pick that node and that node okay. hide that so you can see there's my beam element so I'm just going to hide that there's my 3D elements and they're my rigid elements so I need to create Okay, first of all I need to measure what size that is so I'm going to measure that diameter so 10 mil. so I'm going to create a 1D element 10 millimeters okay. so we've got a one dimensional element there's our beam property so I'm going to edit that beam property say that that's 10 mil in diameter and then I'm just going to pick steel and for my solid elements I'm just going to edit that and I'm just going to pick steel again okay. so that is our FE model set up so I will solve the, the simulation to this as well and I will do that in part two.